Hey, Valder. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Who do I have in the studio with me? You are speaking with Laura DeAngelis. Laura DeAngelis, thank you so much, and Happy so New Year. Yes. What great information did you bring my audience? We love to hear from you. <laughs> thank you, Valder. So, you know, today we're talking about sticking with those New Year's resolutions. So many people make them when it comes to making healthier choices. So my biggest tip for you, Valder, is to keep things realistic. You know, set yourself up for success by saying you're only going to maybe work out a couple of days a week, and then when you do it three times, you're really going to feel like you aced it. Uh, and also don't make any severe food restrictions for yourself because, you you know, once you kind of indulge in that little treat, you might feel bad about yourself. There's no reason for that. So keep things realistic and uh, things will go really well for you in 2016. I guarantee it. Okay. So that's on the food side and the exercise side. Any mind, body, spirit side? <laughs> well, mind, body, spirit, I'll tell you what, Valder. I don't know about you, but my, my mind and my body and my spirit aren't really uh, very happy when I'm hungry. So what I like to tell people, again, on that restrictive side is you want to make sure that you're eating every few hours to keep your body fueled properly, keep your sugar levels on an even keel in your body, and then you won't overeat when you do sit down to have that meal. So for me, that means also keeping the right kind of fuel and snacks at hand at all times. And Valder, I am honestly obsessed with Kind Bars. I have one in my purse and my gym bag right now. Always take them with me wherever I go. They're a great portion size. They're not going to fill you up before a workout, so you can tackle that gym routine. And also after a workout, they're going to give you just the right size of energy uh, without ruining your next meal. And that's because they have a combination of healthy fats, protein, and complex carbohydrates to fuel the workout, aid in your recovery. And the, the kicker, Valder, aside from being yummy, they're also lower in sugar. And Americans on the average are eating 22 teaspoons of sugar a day. And that's almost twice the amount that we should be having. So keep some healthy snacks around, and uh, you're never going to get caught hungry and making a bad decision. So, uh, And that's going to help your mind, body, and spirit feel good about your choices as well. Okay. What else did you bring us? So the other thing, Valder, I don't know about you, but you know, after all the holiday cheer and the maybe not so great food and beverage choices and stress of shopping and entertaining... Some of us could be starting off the new year a little run down, which makes you vulnerable to viruses, right? And we're at the height of the flu season. It's coming upon us. So you want to be prepared to take action as soon as you start feeling any kind of flu-like symptoms coming on. And that's why you want to have the Ocelococcinum ready to go in the house. This is a homeopathic medicine. The French have relied on it for about 70 years to nip those flu-like symptoms in the bud. And clinical studies show that it actually reduces the duration and the severity of those flu-like symptoms. I'm talking about the headache, the fever, the body ache, chills and fatigue. And the great thing is anyone can use this whether you're age 2 or 102. So again, just good to keep around to get back in the game if the uh, flu tries to take you out. All right, then. Well, you got to stay healthy, especially now that we're actually getting into cold weather. That's a really valuable uh, medication. What else? So, Valder, the other thing I'd love to uh, point out is that people do focus on their diet and their exercise, and that's great, okay? But one thing people sometimes forget about is the importance of sleep for our overall health and well-being. And unfortunately, according to the National Sleep Association, more than 60% of Americans say they have sleep problems. So I say let's make 2016 the year we tackle those problems. And you can do that. One idea is by adding the S Plus by ResMed to your bedroom. What's really cool about this, there is nothing to wear. It's simply a device that sits on your bedside table and then it syncs with your smartphone and it's going to monitor not just your movements but your breathing, also your environment and your lifestyle. And then it provides a daily sleep score and gives you some personalized feedback and coaching ideas on how you can get a better night's sleep. And mysplus.com kind of explains all the cool technology behind it. So again, let's make this the year we not only try to eat better and get more exercise, but also get a better night's sleep too. Why not? That's right. Sleep is undervalued if you <laughs> oh, ask yeah. me, Laura. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need it, right? we got to be productive. So you're not very productive if you're not sleeping. You bring good ideas. Let me ask okay. you, do you have this wrapped up on the web for my audience? Absolutely. So you can find out all about the uh, products I talked about today at videopump.tv. And, Valder, you can always get tips at my blog, lauralovesfitness.com. All right, Laura DeAngelis, thank you so much for being an expert. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.